T-shirt designs with plaid pattern overlays can do extremely well for Christmas. And to help you out in this video, I'm going to show you a free method of how you can apply these patterns to multiple designs in bulk. The tool we're going to be using for this is My Designs, and all you have to do is click the link in the description, and then you can sign up for free uh, if you click that button right here at the top right corner and don't worry everything we're going to do is going to be included in the free version up to two gigabytes worth of files which is way enough to create hundreds and hundreds of these um, played pattern designs and there's no time limit either the free version isn't like a, a one month trial you're going to have it until you hit that storage limit once you've registered and logged into your my designs dashboard you'll have to head over to the listings tab right here and then we need to create a collection and to do that click on home in the top left corner next up where it says home you have to head over to the right and click the plus symbol and then you will be able to create a new collection um, and you can name it whatever you want I'll just name this one played pattern and click create collection then you'll have to click onto that collection that you just created and click the upload button in the top right corner and here you will have to drag all of your silhouette files now I'm going to be using 20 animal silhouettes and if you want to use these same files as well then I will leave a link down below in the description for you to download them once you've dropped them into here just hit upload all click upload designs then you're going to have to wait about half a minute depending on how fast your internet speed is and there we go that's all done and now the designs have all loaded into our collection the next step is going to be clicking this button up here in the top left corner then click select all then you need to head over to more actions go down to image utility and click pattern overlay now in here you first of all need to create a new output file slot so click the little plus symbol uh, you could name this played if you wanted to and then click the green tick say yes and now you have to choose your pattern now there's tons of different ones that you can use right here I'll just flick through a few of them so you can get an idea of what the possibilities are but we're going to be using the Christmas option in this tutorial you can generate a preview to see obviously what the end result would look like for the first design that you've got selected and then once you're ready you can click apply pattern overlay hit continue and as you can see on the active jobs panel over here it's added this job to the queue of 20 listings now this could take a minute it could take half a minute it just depends how many tasks my designs is currently doing in the background and it also depends how many images you have selected here for the bulk edit there we go that's all done and now you could change the file slots option from default to played so that you can see what all of your new files look like and if you now want to download these all you have to do is head up to more actions again and click download as zip click download as zip and then once you've extracted the files you then get all of these different variations with the play pattern which is really cool it's very low effort and one thing that i did want to mention though you might notice that these work really well on white on like a lighter t-shirt color but if you wanted to upload these to a black t-shirt they don't really stand out that well and to help you out with that i'm now also going to show you how to apply the stroke effect in bulk to all of these files in one go by using adobe photoshop so first of all you need to have one of these files open in photoshop and you will have to locate the actions panel the best way to do that is head over to window and click actions and then you're going to want to click the plus symbol down here to create a new action and i'm going to call this one white stroke click record and then you will have to head over to the layers panel and select the image that you currently have visible right click on that then head up to blending options select stroke and then make sure the stroke settings have a white color and the size being quite a bit bigger than the default usually in this example i'm going to use 50 pixels i think then hit ok then head over to file save a copy and you're going to want to save it on your computer and it doesn't matter where you save this file the only important thing is that you change the file type to png then hit save 
click OK. And that's it for the action. We can now click the stop symbol right here and we've got our action prepared for the bulk processing of all of these designs, which is the next step we're going to take. You have to turn off all of these layers, make sure that this is just a transparent file right here. And then um, you will want to head over to File, Automate, Batch. Then you need to select the actions that you just created right here from the drop down and the folder which holds all of your new designs with the plate pattern overlay. Then you can copy the rest of these settings right here. And destination folder is obviously where the new files will be saved to. So make sure that is a folder that you will find afterwards. And then once again, copy the same settings as I've got right here. Unless you want a different file extension, then you have to make changes in this area and then hit OK. And as you can see, Photoshop is now pulling in all of the files with the pattern overlay and applying our action uh, to each one of them and then saving it in our desired folder. And after you've done this process once, you can always reuse the same action. You don't have to create it from scratch every time. All you have to do is then change the settings within the batch window. And as you can see, now we've got all the files right here with the stroke applied, which looks really nice and it works very well on a dark background. I hope these tips can help you save a tremendous amount of time when it comes to designing your Christmas t-shirts and if you are fairly new to print on demand then you definitely need to check out this video next where I share five print on demand beginner mistakes with you that you have to avoid.